Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our devotion to our Mother of Perpetual Help in this uh, beautiful, chilly evening and warm evening as well. Let us pray for all our intentions and for people who ask for our prayers. Mother of Perpetual Help, your very name inspires confidence. We come before your holy picture in praise and thanksgiving to God seeking your intercession with Jesus, your Son, for all the needs of our lives today. We celebrate your holy motherhood as we proclaim Jesus Christ, our Lord and Redeemer. You answer when called to be mother of our Lord. Obtain for us the grace to be alive to the dismal call, and especially to embrace the gospel of life and to respect of life on earth. Your wonders are your son, grew in wisdom, knowledge, and grace. And be buried of the good news to one and all. You delighted are your son, heal the sick, intercede for our sick, that they may receive good health, and that in their turn may be healers to others. You enjoy peace as your son comforted the afflicted, intercede for all who suffer, so that they may know that we carry the burdens with them, and in this way we keep the law of Christ. You rejoice as your sons forgive sins, obtain for us the forgiveness of our sins, and lead us to unbind others and set them free. You suffer at the wound your Son endured for our salvation. Help us to wind up the brokenhearted and to give hope to the dawn trodden. You exalt in your Son's resurrection. Obtain for us the grace to persevere in his way all the days of our life and be granted a place in heaven. You are the first of all the disciples and saints we trust in your motherly love and care. Obtain for us all the graces we need to fulfill God's plan each day in our lives. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to your protection, implored your help, or saw your intercession was led and aided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto you, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come, before you we stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the World Incarnate. Despite not our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion with the Holy Spirit be with you all. Today we are celebrating the feast of St. Bartholomew Apostle. He was one of the 12 apostles in the Bible when the two Gospels, Luke and Mark, appeared as Nathaniel and uh, my homily will be talking about him. In a moment of silence, let us recognize our sins and let us recognize as well the love of God who always welcomes us. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us glorify God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. 
For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son, and grant that through the help of his prayers, your church may become for all the nations the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Let us be attentive to the readings. A reading from the book of Revelation. One of the seven angels, who had seven bowls full of the seven last plagues, came and said to me, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And in the spirit, he carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city of Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. It has the glory of God and a radiance like a very rare jewel, like jasper, clear as crystal. It has a great high wall with 12 gates, and at the gates, 12 angels, and on the gates, are inscribed the names of the 12 tribes of the Israelites. On the east gate, there were three gates. On the north, three gates. On the south, three gates. And on the west, three gates. And the wall of the city has 12 foundations, and on them are the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. To make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. Your friends tell the glory of your kingship, Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. After Jesus had called Philip to be a disciple, Philip found Nathaniel and said to him, We have found him, about whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, he said of him, Here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you get to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathaniel replied, Rabbi, you are the son, of, the son of God, you are the king of Israel. Jesus answered, 
Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. Than this. And Jesus said to Nathaniel, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Bartholomew has traditionally been identified with Nathaniel, who features in this evening gospel reading. He is portrayed in that reading as someone who journey in a very short time from great except skepticism to great faith. His initial response to Philip's witness to Jesus as the long awaiting Jewish Messiah was to ask, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Elsewhere in John's Gospel, we are told that Nathaniel was from Cana in Galilee. Cana was not that far from Nazareth and wasn't all that different from Nazareth, but obviously the people of Cana did not think much of the people of Nazareth. Philip was not to put off by Nathaniel's apparent resistance. He simply said, come and see. And in fairness to Nathaniel, Nathaniel he came and saw. Jesus would not put off either by Nathaniel's resistance, because as soon as he saw Nathaniel, he complimented him. There is an Israelite who deserves the name incapable of deceit. It was Jesus' positive reception of Nathaniel which brought Nathaniel to make his great act of faith. Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. The Gospel reading suggests that Jesus could look beyond the negative in people to see and to name what was positive. The Lord sees and names the good in us, and if we could become more aware of how the Lord regards us, we too, like Nathaniel, would grow in faith. Like Nathaniel, we are all in a journey, on a journey. The Lord invites us to come and see. No matter where we are on that journey, and if we do manage to see something of the Lord, He promised us that one day, we will see greater things than what we now see. The Lord continues to take the same initiative towards us. He continues to call us into a deeper relationship with Him. He never gives, gives up on us. He knocks on our door in various ways. All he asks is that we have that same openness to respond to the Lord's initiative towards us that Nathaniel had. If we have that openness, then, like Nathaniel, we too will change for the better. We will begin to see greater things. Amen.
Lord Jesus Christ, at the word from Mary, your mother, you change water into wine in Cana in Galilee. Hear our prayers and grant our petitions in honor of our mother of perpetual help. Grant wisdom and courage to all our religious and civil leaders, our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our bishops, and all who lead us, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant peace, unity, and good harvests in all the world, especially in places of conflict, war, famine, and need, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant married couples the grace of their sacrament, wives and husbands a binding love for each other, parents the grace to welcome and cherish their children, single parent families, unity and strength, and peace and blessings on all our homes, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant to our single adults fulfillment in their call, to our young people success in their endeavors, and courage to witness to their faith, to our elderly vitality, security, and contentment in their days, and to the separated and divorced, the grace of your spirit, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant workers confidence in their work, dignity in their accomplishments, joy in their contributions, a just and living wage, and to the unemployed, grant gainful work, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant to your church many laborers for the harvest, good priests, deacons, brothers, sisters, and lady, who will dedicate their lives to your faithful people, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our mother. Grant eternal life to all the deceased, especially Dorothy and David Dunn, Josephine McCarthy, and Helen Gazine, for whom this Mass is being offered. May they obtain a place in the communion of the saints, where every tear shall be wiped away, and where we shall meet you, our God, face to face, we pray. Hear us, Lord, Mary, our Mother. Grant to each of us the grace to do justice, love mercy, and walk humbly with you each day of our lives. For whatever we do to the least of our sisters or brothers, we do to you, we pray. Hear us, Lord, through Mary, our Mother. God of mercy and compassion, hear and answer these prayers, along with the intentions that had been placed before the icon of our Mother of Perpetual Help, seeking her intercession, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For to your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you through the earth and work of human hands. It did become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For to your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you through the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. O oh Lord, watch me iniquity and clean from my sins.
Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate anew the feast day of St. Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help to the intercession of the Apostle, and whose honor we bring you this sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Live are your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundation, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are your full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which could given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have here as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, especially St. Bartholomew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we make merry to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. 
at the Savior's command, I'm formed by divine teaching with the earth to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, to say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am worthy to receive the Santa in my road, but only see the world, and my son shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed Apostle Bartholomew, we have received the place of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us, both now and for the life to come, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Lord Jesus Christ and our Mary, your perpetual help, be with you to defend you, within you to sustain you, before you to lead you, behind you to protect you, and above you to bless you all the days of your life. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Just one announcement for this weekend. We have two weddings on Saturday, and the Mass is at, not at 5, but at 6, one hour later, okay? For all people who come on Saturday Mass, Mass will be at 6, not at 5. Thank you. Good evening for everyone.